Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Paulio Jr. And in today's video, uh, I wanted to show you the best voice recorder uh, app that I have found for uh, for any Android device. So this is when you're making any, um, if you're making any phone calls, uh, it'll also record anything that's playing on the phone as well. So I'm just gonna show you, it's literally just called voice recorder and I was looking for something just to test out uh, for just a bunch, a bunch of different reasons. But um, this app actually has a 4.8 uh, out of 5 with 271,000 reviews. So it's definitely, definitely legitimate. And what's really cool about the voice recording app is that you can edit whatever you uh, record. And the actual... Um, you, you can decide what uh, if you want to record it as mp3 or a different file uh, but the quality comes out really really nice and also um, you can uh, it has an editing feature where you can trim uh, different parts of the audio file that you don't want and so forth so let me see I'm gonna go back here and let's go right into the voice recorder app and it's so simple to use, it's fantastic. And as if you've been following my channel for quite some time, I love when apps are, you know, get straight to the point. Uh, so now this is, we're just at um, the main screen here. And so before I do anything, we're gonna go over to the gear option here. We're going to settings, um, microphone adjustment, the auto control works perfectly fine for me. Uh, the record file type, you can use MP3 or .wav. I would just go with the everything that's at uh, all the defaults work perfectly fine. Uh, you don't even need to mess around with the trash function. Uh, I like the default file name because it gives you the date and the time in which you did um, record your um, uh, your audio file, and then on here. Um, this is also the default. The recording quality is at the highest it can go. Is the um, uh, for mono is forty four kilohertz. So and doo -doo -doo. and then you can also put the location of where the recordings are going to go. And what's awesome is that um, I've recorded long uh, conversations with people, like over an hour, and it really didn't take up that much space. But I still have everything just going to my SD card and then I can either share it um, through the app or I can just plug it into my computer and get the files off of there if I need to and but yeah so there there really isn't anything you need to change in the settings function so in actually using the app uh, whatever you're playing there and it's, it's not what's nice about voice recorder is it's not littered with ads it does have advertisements on it but they're not that intrusive, which is very nice. So I can go to, <clears throat> since this is the main screen, whatever um, would be playing on the phone or even just myself talking um, will be recorded with voice recorder, which is really awesome. And I would just hit the big, the red button in the middle here. I would hit that. And so obviously we're using it right now. So, uh, so here's an advertisement. No, thanks. Okay. It just goes right in to this. So this is just, uh, these are two conversations that I had with people. And you can see the one was seven minutes and 32 seconds. And it was only not even seven megabytes. And yeah, the other one was two minutes and 59 seconds with 2.7. So I can even, since it's on my phone, I can click on that. I can listen to it, edit the name, delete it, uh, and then share it as well if I want. So I could actually share that and um, from there, if I really needed it and I wasn't near my computer, I could just share it to Google Drive uh, just to make sure that I do have it backed up. But I wanna show you the editing feature, which is really cool. So I'm gonna go into this one. Um, yeah. So let's see here. Doo -doo -doo. So this was, this was earlier today and I don't I'm gonna send you a. Let's see here. I'll send you. Nothing crazy, but. Wait, what? I got, I got it. So <laughs> I'm not gonna go into the full conversation, obviously. 
but I'm going to hit this little, you see the scissors icon at the top of the screen and we hit that. That's the editing feature. And it gives you like a small tutorial, um, which is very simple, but I'm just going to close that out. And now we're going to zoom out. And now we have two different uh, bars that we can use. We have the green. And if you see below, the numbers changing. That's the actual timeline. And that's what we actually are going to keep. So if we extend, so I'm just dragging with the, um, I'm dragging the green uh, icon there. But then if I want to move along here, I'm grabbing the red uh, icon down there. And this is what I want to keep. So it should just start. So it says, try to listen to the result. And you would play that. Like and then, like. as you can see, that yellow bar, the yellow it bar like is moving. Like. It's only going to keep what's between the green and the red icons there. So you could, those are, as long as you have that trim part. And then you go to yeah, test it uh, and so forth. <clears throat> and then... Uh, if that's what you want to do, then you would just click that um, that disk icon where it says 7189. You would click that save. And we'll see how much it shrinks. They also have the add copy. You can remove the middle if you want. Um, and then the add copy is just copying this part and then putting it wherever you wherever you like as well. So, um, buh, buh, buh. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to trim. And we're going to click the try to listen to the result. Yeah. Um, so where it starts. Like and doo -doo -doo. now I'm going to click save and see if it keeps the part between where it says 51.41 and 113.48. We even make it smaller than that. And then you can actually click on these and um, put in whatever custom number that you want. So done okay yeah um, there we go and now let's click save insert new file name let's just do okay saving okay little ad nothing yeah, nothing uh, crazy and let's go back so i still have my original saved and now i have my new one as you can see um so the original one was seven minutes and 32 seconds. And then the newer one is only 47 seconds, uh, not even a megabyte. So I click yeah. on that and that's it. It's just 47 seconds long. I have it stored to the SD card. And obviously if I don't want any of them, I click the trash can option and just delete them like so. <laughs> very simple, very easy to use program or application for the Android. I know I'll try and find a link for um, something similar for the iPhone, but this thing, the voice recorder app is so easy to use. The interface is very, uh, is very simple. And there isn't, there's, there really isn't anything to change in the settings. <clears throat> the only thing that I changed was actually where the, um, do, 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 where the actual location of the recordings uh, were going. So initially they were actually going to my internal storage. So I just had them going to the, uh, to the SD card instead. So, but other than that, all of the defaults are perfectly fine. You can rename your files when you want, leave the record file type at .mp3. And so this is good if you want to record. Um, um, I, I would use it more for uh, for phone conversations than anything else. Uh, just because the, the quality is good, uh, but it wouldn't be something you would really want to record if you were, maybe if you wanted to, uh, say you were listening to a podcast and whatever the case may be, and you wanted to record that and have it saved. Then from there, um, you could just go to the voice recorder and just have that running. And then you can, uh, trim the file as needed. So I could just go to a YouTube clip and start recording um, from there. But it's very simple, very easy to use, and just rename the uh, file the file name as you wish, and uh, that's it. So <laughs> very simple, simple tutorial. Um, it's a very easy to use app. So I highly recommend it. 
Uh, like I said, more for phone calls if there's anything that you really want to keep track of. Um, but you can use it for anything that is playing um, on the phone as well as when you are actually uh, speaking uh, through the microphone. So uh, definitely check out uh, Voice Recorder, and I'll leave a link in the description. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys. Later.